We're waiting on our big cold front and it is going to make it nice tomorrow and especially early Saturday morning. If you've been waiting for that nice fall feel, we are going to get it. This week wasn't so bad, but we are warm. Our temperatures in the middle to upper 80s and looking outside a little bit of a shower over Jefferson Parish and Metairie. Not super heavy, but there is a, just a tiny bit of rain. Here are current temperatures and then on radar you can barely see anything really showing up at all ahead of this front. But if we zoom way in, you can see the tiny shower right now kind of on radar. But if you're under it, of course, it's a little shower moving over Kenner and Metairie and over toward the causeway. Now some of this is just radar clutter, not all showing up perfectly. And this is along a lake breeze and interestingly around the Mons area for the Mississippi River. There was just about an hour ago a report that there was a little funnel cloud and a very brief water spout on the river and you can see the shower that probably caused that. So water spouts uh, tend to flare up more easily, of course, than a, a tornadic situation. So just something uh, very interesting there with that brief report and it did lift very quickly according to the emergency managers there. We do have the front out to our north and some rain, but notice not a lot of strong storms, not really heavy rain. This is going to slide in late tonight, probably approaching our area by close to midnight and then really bringing the effects tomorrow. So the rest of this evening still looks fairly humid, partly cloudy, pretty quiet. Just a slight chance for a couple more showers like we saw over Kenner and Metairie right now. Lows tonight eventually will get into the low 60s for those of you on the North Shore and likely middle 60s south of the lake. After our nice evening, you'll note clouds increasing by early tomorrow and our winds picking up from the northwest as the front moves in. Tomorrow we may only top out in the lower 70s. It'll be much cooler, of course, than today when we were in the middle to upper uh, 80s in spots. Clearing skies, especially in the second part of the day, although we may wake up to some clouds and our rain chance quite slim, mainly just for the first part of the morning when we may still have a little bit of a setup for a couple of sprinkles or a shower or two. So for Friday morning, this is tomorrow morning after the front moves in, we'll wake up to these kind of temperatures tomorrow afternoon. Again, just barely getting into the low 70s. And by this point, and especially later in the afternoon, we should see the sun returning, although we may spend some of the day, as I said, with clouds. If you have Friday night plans, this is our 9 p.m. temperature outlook, getting kind of cool north of the lake in the 50s by then and 60s on the south shore. And here it is, that Saturday morning forecast, brushing the upper 40s on the North Shore and likely upper 50s to about 60 or so south of the lake. And just looking at our rain potential, notice that tonight this would be or toward uh, sunrise tomorrow around 7 a.m. We have clouds and maybe a shower or two. This model might be overdoing it, but just keep in mind there might just be a little bit of that. Again, rain totals maybe a hundredth of an inch, certainly less than a tenth of an inch it looks like. And by 2 p.m. we may still have clouds, but but that sunshine should be coming by the second part of the afternoon and evening. We've been talking about the tropics with that invest, that area of investigation that's kind of run into some very strong winds here near the Caribbean Sea. But there are two areas that eventually may develop that we're highlighting now from the National Hurricane Center. Zero percent chance pretty much of these developing because there's almost nothing there in these particular locations in the next couple of days and just a low chance, 20 percent or so in the next five days. So going into our atmosphere, atmospheric rotation uh, outlook. You can see that this one will probably spin up in the next couple of days, but this one or few days I should say, but this one's going to stay. It looks like far away from us. Here is a bit of low level spin that we've been seeing uh, showing up with models in the Western Caribbean. This one was uh, well, it's several days out, so we'll have to see. But uh, earlier models a few days ago were kind of taking it into the extreme eastern Gulf. Today, long range models are taking it almost uh, over toward the Bahamas and way out over the western Atlantic, staying way away from us. But it does look like even if we do see it spin up, we will eventually have those fronts moving in like the one we're getting tonight and into tomorrow. And it looks like another one may be coming in in the time frame when that might be eventually kind of getting into to the Western Caribbean Sea, maybe kind of hovering in that area a week or more out from now. Still talking about the tropics, wish we didn't have to, but at least we don't have any threats coming our way and even those long range forecasts again, not bringing it here. So we'll keep you updated on that. Here's our forecast Saturday morning, chilly 40s and 50s north and south of the lake. It looks like we will probably warm up pretty quickly again by Sunday into the lower 80s, but still a nice day. Humidity will edge up too as that high pressure that will build in in the next day or so shifts to the east and lets us have southerly winds. And then next week looks fairly quiet, warmer and slight rain chances each day. Ahead in sports, a Saints NFC South rival is